This is Sky with Politics NY. Schneff's Media is asking each candidate running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes. And I'm all dressed up because I'm with Paperboy Prince, who's running to be the next New York City mayor. So let's get to know them a little bit. Hello, Paperboy. Uh, paper, yeah. It's our time, one love. How's it going, Politics NY, Sky? It's our time. Let them know New York City will never be the Brooklyn, Queen, Staten Island, New York, Bronx. <laughs> Paper, yeah. It's our time. Paperboy 2021, everybody having some fun. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. As you see, I'm all dressed up to be here with you. I even have a dog on my lap. I want it to be as extra as possible because I know that that's your vibe. And guess what's working? It gets people engaged. It gets people excited. Definitely. You look great too. You're looking Thank amazing. you. So tell us about yourself and why are you running for office? Yes. So for me, our mission is to spread love. You know, we're bringing a platform to uh, politics here in New York, but not only New York, uh, globally, that have never been focused on in this way. And that's love politics. You know, we realized that for so long, we focused on only the economy. For so long, we focused on only these stats that quantify um, our capitalistic pursuits, but we haven't focused on the stats that, uh, that display our spiritual needs, our emotional needs. And we realize that the we have to start focusing on the whole human, the whole person, um, not just how much money someone makes, not just the type of job someone has, but how well is their marriage doing? How well are their kids at home doing? Um, how well is that generational? How, how, how are we looking at generations and seeing how they're doing it? And, and having reviews on that. We need to focus on our community. How much do you know your neighbors? How much do you know the kids across the street, right? Your, your male person. So we wanna focus on love and not just saying it as this abstract thing, but making love a serious political, um, a serious political issue. You know, how much love do we have in our community? When our last president was in office, the number one thing you heard was hate. Even now, you talk, you hear about hate crimes and the things that are going on and the hate that's being spread and hate groups. And they have all the time, all the energy, all the news airtime to talk about hate. Where is the time to talk about love? Where's the time? To, because we know that love wins. When you put love in the game, love wins. My middle name is love. Paperboy Love Prince. A lot of people forget that. This Paperboy Love Prince, it's my middle name. And it's something that every person needs and wants that love. So uh, that's a big part of our platform, you know, creating love centers all across the city where we can tend to the emotional needs and emotional well-being of our citizens, which we feel will help uh, everything else in the city blossom, whether it means going green, which is a big part of our platform, universal basic income, a big part of our platform, uh, healthcare for all, not just sick care, but healthcare for all and futuristic schools all of these things are super important and they and love kind of is the center of that and supports all of those things. It's a beautiful platform. Do you think New York City is ready for it? Listen, ready or not, here it comes. You can't hide. God. Hey, we're going to spread love to New York City. Ha, <laughs> paper, yeah. Ready or not. We're coming with this love. Listen, they might not have been ready when uh, the hate came. Right. They might not have been ready when coronavirus, but it came. So you're going to have, ready or not, you're going to have to get ready. And we're coming with this love and, and we're going to share it in a way that's never been done before. A lot of people talk about the way I dress, the way I talk, my name, uh, the protests that we've thrown, my, my small business, which has made a lot of waves, you know, my music and our performances. We're doing things differently. So the, so... And not only are they ready, people are excited about it. People are super, super excited to have a fresh voice, fresh representation, something that kind of knocks the traditional politician off of their, their feet, you know? I mean, we're knocking the people who are kind of the political outsiders, we're outsiders to the political outsiders. Um, and I feel like 
that just makes us in line with the normal New Yorker, you know, um, who just, like I, I've said before, I'm one of the only candidates for mayor. I am the only candidate for mayor that lives with roommates, like over 75% of New Yorkers, right? But the things that they say make me an outsider really just make me uh, more of a New Yorker and more of a, you know, community member here. So I'm super excited and yeah, I think the people are too. It is exciting. It's exciting talking to you. You have an energy about you like no other candidate I've met. I love your style. And I know you have a shop and you have some songs. Is there any, are there any other songs or anthems maybe that you want to share with us to get to get in our heads right now? Yeah, well, um, I have some new stuff coming. So I'm releasing, I'm announcing my candidacy for mayor very soon. You know, obviously people already know I'm running, but I never really announced. I wanted to announce with an album, the Paperboy for Mayor album that will um, let people know all of our policies or a large majority of them through song. Wow. So, yeah, so that's coming very soon, the Paperboy for Mayor album. And, uh, you know, I have a couple songs that I do that kind of show what we're about. One, to let them know about the campaign, it's Paperboy 2021, everybody having some fun, Paperboy. 2021, everybody having some fun. Paperboy, 2021, everybody having some fun. So that that's one of the songs I can get more into that. And then I have, I'm spreading love to the community. I'm on a block. I'm spreading unity. I'm being positive. What they gonna do to me? Waving that stick. This isn't new to me. I'm in a trap. I'm spreading love. I'm in the hood. I'm giving out hugs. How much your friends? They want some love. They some more. This ain't enough. <laughs> Paper, yeah. So, um, you know, I have a lot of songs about already about our policy platforms that, you know, are you hear blasting at protests across the city. Housing, one of the biggest issues. We're on the brink of one of the largest housing uh, crises our city has ever faced. May 1st, we have uh, massive evictions looming. Many of the other candidates aren't talking about this. Uh, a lot of the residents are. And, you know, I made a song almost a year ago now that uh, talked about what we need to do during this pandemic to help uh, renters, to help homeowners even, and small business owners uh, protect their spaces. And that song was cancel it. You know, we gotta cancel it, yeah. Cancel it, utilities and mortgages. We gotta cancel it. So I, you know, this song was saying, hey, we need to cancel rent for those affected by the pandemic through the duration of this pandemic and a little after that as well uh, to help hold them over and get back on their feet. So, you know, we've been using the music to kind of bridge the gap uh, for those who are kind of uninterested or unfamiliar with certain political things and then those who are actually have that knowledge as well. Really awesome. I'm so happy to have met you and I will follow your campaign. We all will with Politics NY. I'm Sky and this is Schneps Media's Three Questions in Three Minutes. Thank you so much. Ha, paper, yeah. It's our time. One love. <laughs>